Hi everyone, Dave here at Byer Lee RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Thor Sanctuary B-Van 4x4 motorhome behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching, if you haven't already done so. When you're done watching this video, check out the rest of the Byer Lee RV YouTube channel. We do things like fun videos, educational videos. We have Byer Lee RV University that we do once a month. Those past classes are on there. We have them coming up usually every month on the second Thursday of the month during school, second Tuesdays in summer. It can change in the summer. We call them fireside chats. It's fun. Um, also, uh, make sure that you have subscribed. You can click the bell icon. You'll be notified when we put up cool videos like this. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok now. We've got some new TikTok videos that will be coming out, um, so be sure to check that out. Now, let's talk about the Sanctuary by Thor Motor Coach. So, this is the 19P floor plan and when we go inside we'll see that and then on the outside we've got oh this is like this gray blue color that I can't remember what they call it sorry um, but I know we have this and then we have a really dark uh, gray almost black one too uh, so on the outside here you guys first of all it's a Mercedes-Benz chassis the Sprinter chassis this is lifted guys and if we were to pull a regular one up in front of it you would absolutely see that this has a couple inches of height over a stand well you can tell by I mean look at the, where it comes up to me, I'm 5'10", and this comes up to my chin on the hood. So um, that gives us ground clearance, right? So, I mean, it's a 4x4 four four with ground clearance. There's some things out there that they put off of tires on and, like, yeah, it can go off-road, but this is a true four-wheel drive. And it's also this new Sprinter chassis, which is absolutely awesome. Um, it's got everything in the chassis from, like, you can just say, uh, hey, Mercedes, where's the closest gas station? And it'll tell you, you know, or it, uh, it'll, um, when you get close to things, it's got sensors all around it, and it's got enough cameras on it that it can create an artificial overhead 360-degree view when you're trying to park it. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, you certainly get what you pay for um, when you get this Mercedes-Benz chassis. Now, uh, some other cool stuff. Uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about on the outside. Uh, one thing that's out here, we've got a nice Thule awning, you guys. Check out this video here where we have already done this awning so you can see that awning operation um what we've got right here is our the b vans are made to be used as much outside as inside almost all at the same time um and this has this some of these b vans will have this really nice this is magnetic right here where you just can go in and out and it just magnet close i really really like it when they do that um right here we have there's like absolutely all right so when you're in a small vehicle like a b van you need to use every little space you can so this was available space they used it for storage and then they made this i've got a nice little table right here how cool is that right and there's a bluetooth speaker here so i've got music there's also usb and power right here as well so um there it is over here there is a quick disconnect for i could set up my rv stove out here and there is a there's another outlet that's pretty cool you guys there's four outlets total on this side of the uh vehicle when the door is open like you see it now um, i really like the running boards on these things you guys i mean look at that you know this is very this is something that you're not going to slip on I, I really like that just because i mean how often you know it's a four by four right so there's a good chance you might be out somewhere and these things might be wet or slick or snow covered or whatever um, that's nice to have so uh, b vans of course this is all metal this is painted at the factory where the van came from um, we like that. A lot of times you pay ten to twenty thousand dollars to have a full paint motorhome, right? Uh, the bike rack. We'll do a video on the bike rack sometime. Uh, this is where I get to mention that we do give you training when you pick up a uh, camper here at Byerly RV. We don't just turn people loose with these things. We give you full training inside and out. You're here for a few hours or more, uh, depending on how many questions you want to ask and everything. We'll show you how to use everything. But be watching. We will put up a video on that eventually. Um, now back in the back here, this is cool because we've got screen mesh here that we can see through and keeps the bugs out. But we've got another one of those magnetic catches here. And then this is actually, while we're back here, this is a this vehicle does not have a generator. We have a lithium ion battery system, guys. So it's got this humongous lithium battery right here that I can't remember off the top of my head how big it is. Uh, oh my goodness, it's got to be at least 300 amp hours. It's huge. Uh, master volt as well as a 3000 watt uh, inverter, which means that I can use that battery and that inverter to run that roof air conditioner for a limited amount of time. Uh, there's also a solar panel up there to help recharge it, but again, that's you're, it, it, well, it's a small motorhome too, so it cools down really quickly, but um, it's not, you're not gonna like run constantly all the time with the air conditioner uh, through just the panel that's on the roof. You'd need more panels, which you can do. Uh, on the business side of the vehicle here, you've got things like a propane fill so that whoever fills your propane can get to it right there. We do have 
sewer hose holder, okay? That's nice, because these little things, they don't, there isn't anywhere else to put it, so we need them to put, give us something. Uh, the Truma, Truma Combi, we'll take a look at that when we go inside. Truma Combi is your furnace and it is your hot water. It's a very, very efficient system. It's really awesome. This right here is the cassette for the toilet. This has a cassette toilet, so it's got a gray tank on board for your gray water and it's got a cassette right here that you just pull out and remove and go dump for the for the commode. The gray tank's right down here. I've got a nice light right here so that I can see everything. If I'm out here doing this at night, I can connect my, that says city fill, it's the city water connection. This is the connection where if I wanted to have some more solar panels, I could actually plug them in right here. And then we've got cable in, we've got the power cable goes in here. There's a little light on the lid so that I know that I have power in my cable up to here. That's very useful. Um, and I can fill my water tank right there, guys. Uh, also, this vehicle has the, oh, it's got some really cool lighting up here, you guys. That, now, see, darn, I should have taken the little thing off here and turned it on. Um, but uh, that would require me to get the ladder out, which, by the way, this has a Thule ladder. Uh, check out that video right here on how to use the ladder on this. It's a really, really neat magnetic thing. But up there, there's a light bar on here. Um, I think all 4x4s like this should come with a cool LED light bar across the top, right? If this was mine, I would also be getting a really cool <laughs> front grill bumper protector thing, you know, with some more lights in it, because this thing just looks like it needs that, right? I feel like we should do that here as dealer options, but I don't want to spend your money. It's okay. I'll let you guys do that. Anyway, let's go take a look at the inside of the Sanctuary 19P. Okay, so inside the 19P, just like most B vans this size, we are really, um, it's kind of small in here, so Mike and I are going to kind of jostle around and try to give you guys the best view we can of everything that's in here. Um, we'll start just kind of right here. At, this is that entryway. We came in through the door right here where the screen is. And then on the wall, um, the first thing you notice probably is this it is a tablet-controlled uh, motorhome. So... This tablet, this is the home screen, allows me to see tanks. Uh, that's my fresh tank and that gray tank, which holds the waste from the sink right here. Um, I've got access to lighting and climate. So if I hit lights, it will take me to my lighting screen and then I can individually turn lights off, on, and I can actually dim them from here as well, which is really cool because you know how it is if you're outside, you got a campfire going outside, it's dark outside. All it takes is one bright light to ruin all that in here. Well, you can dim these things down so low that it doesn't it doesn't ruin your night vision and stuff. Very, very cool. I've got, um, this is where I would turn my water pump on. This is also, another, this is where I can turn my tank heater on. This is, you just kind of go down the list here, awnings. Uh, this is my climate control. So this vehicle has, like we saw outside, we've got lithium batteries. We've got a 3000 watt inverter. We have no generator on board, right? Um, and it's currently 56 degrees in here. I got the air set at 54, so it would actually turn on. But I'm just running the roof air right now, and I'm running it off of this uh, 3000 watt inverter and off of the lithium battery, you guys. Um, there's lighting and a couple other screens. We're gonna jump from here down to here. This little screen right here, you guys, this screen is the inverter, and this is telling me right now, like, my, uh, my draw, it tells me how much battery's left, theoretical amount of time I have left based on my current usage, okay? I think that's a little high. I don't know that this thing would run for six hours. That's optimistic off of this battery, but it is a very big battery. Uh, but uh, this little panel right here is where I get all my information from the inverter that is running uh, this right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this air off because at 56 degrees, we certainly don't need it. I'm just kind of... Yeah, and you can see the draw just changed right back there. Very, very, very cool. Um, below that, of course, a plug. We've got a battery disconnect right there. We've got a uh, fire extinguisher, a little grab handle as you come in, a little place to hang a couple towels and stuff, which is cool. The surface, this is a real solid surface counter in the kitchen, you guys, um, with a nice recessed stainless sink. Yeah, wow, that's heavy. Um, you don't always find that in these vans. And then we've got drawers. We've got a whole house water filtration system, by the way, everybody. Uh, but big drawers, which is what we like to see, right? Oh, look. Okay. So that is, this has a, this is just simply a, an induction cooktop, okay? I'm just going to set this up here and plug it in. Um, and that way I can uh, 
that's how I cook in here if I want to. That's a little different, but not uncommon in these little B-Vans. Um, before we get back any further than this, we're gonna check out a couple things. We've got a stainless steel microwave right here, okay? And then below that, this really cool little refrigerator. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these. So it's cute, got a couple little shelves, little trays, got room for six ice cubes. No, I'm kidding you guys, but it's got a little spot there. Um, but that's all, you, I mean, it's, it's really cool that they found a fridge to take up this spot right here. Oh, look, there is, oh, there you go. Okay, this is really nice, you guys. As you can tell, it's the first time I've looked in this compartment. Anyway, here's my whole house water filtration system. Here is my water pump right here. Below that, I have things like, this is to drain my water tank. I've got my inlet right here for my winterizing. So this is cool, you guys. Um, and then, okay, so my water tank's right there, which means my tank heater is actually my gray tank heater because this is up here, uh, where as long as it's warm up here, it'll be fine. Very, very cool. That's nice to have the, uh, have all that easy to get to because I promise you guys, um, some of that, and, and, and that, my friend, is progress <laughs> because uh, the very first uh, B-Van we ever got from these guys, it was not as easy to access the plumbing, I promise you, <laughs> as it is right there. So that is a huge, huge improvement. Now, let's check out this bathroom. This is something. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a wet bath, right? And um, which means that I've got my commode and my shower all in one, uh, one uh, area right here. Now it's also very useful. Maybe it's most useful based on its size is the fact that it's got these uh, racks in here to hang clothes on. Um, this is actually really cool. So there's a bar here and a bar here. These are removable, but I can use it for clo hanging clothes storage when I'm not using it for a bathroom if I want. Um, this is a cassette toilet. So there's a little, the tank, it goes right into a tank that we pull out from the other side. I mean, the vehicle's got stuff like, I mean, you pull this up, the drain for the showers underneath here. We've got a shower curtain right here. We've got a little hot and cold running water. We've got our shower head. It even has a shower miser, you guys, which allows me to recirculate my unused water back into the, to the fresh tank. So I don't lose it into the gray tank that deserves its own video someday. And it's even got the sink in here. So, you know, I've, I've got a little sink right here. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all here. Uh, it's small. Uh, it's even got a nice little medicine cabinet up there, but it's all here, you guys. It's definitely in a compact package in the sanctuary, right? I guess the idea is it's a four by four. So heck, you might go places you don't even need this. You got, you know, anyway, um, oops, right here. This is, this is a kind of cool compartment just because if I need more pantry, it's pantry, or if I want to use it for hanging storage, uh, because maybe I am using my bathroom for a bathroom. <laughs> um, I can I can do that. Uh, above here, we've got, this is what's called a foam core laminate, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, a foam core laminate cabinet. So if you cut it up into little bitty pieces and throw them in water, they'd all float, kind of like the hull of a boat, but very nice looking stuff that helps keep our weight down. There's a plug up here, USB, and uh, just a regular plug to plug things in. Let's see. The storage above on both sides. It gets a little tight in here, you guys. I'm gonna remove it. So, as you can see, there is a table. That table can be turned to go this way. I've got a bench here, a bench here, and then I've got a bench back there. I am going to remove the table so that we can move back in here. Oops. Oh, I put that in there. We'll just leave it like that for now. Oh, wait, we'll want to take that out in a sec. But there is a TV right here, you guys. I can release this TV. It's on an arm, so it'll turn like this if I want to, or I can watch from back here, okay? Um, let me quickly just remove this. These pedestals nowadays are so much nicer than they used to be because it's got this little ring that you stick it in there and you tighten that ring up, and that keeps it from wobbling and stuff. Um, it's not like the old days. Uh, now, I do that because I just want to show you that comes out and then this all makes into a bed, okay? There's a switch right here. I just hit the switch. And that's going to bring this down. Okay, and then I could take that further. There's a lip right here and there's cushions and everything to fill in. So I could literally make this whole back end back here, a big bed. And for a relatively small motorhome, that is a relatively large bed, especially for one person and even for two. 
Uh, so uh, this is, you know, the, the sanctuary, this is the 19P floor plan. Um, we'll have a video up on the other floor plan as well here. Uh, so you can check them both out, both available at Byerly RV. You can check it out at www.byerlyrv.com. You can see our full inventory and pricing. Uh, if you don't see what you like, give us a call. We can order you something. Um, again, if you watch the whole video, thank you very much. Make sure you click the bell icon, subscribe. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.